Hello, I'm going to give a short demonstration of a concept I've been working on called algorithmic orchestration. I won't go into any details in this video, I'll just go over the, the basic essentials. The, the quick rundown would be that all the sound you hear is generated by a sound module. I'm in particular using an Alysis NanoSynth module. Um, there is some reasoning behind why I use a uh, old sound module with a lot of limitation and I'll talk about that in another video. The sound module is receiving MIDI information, musical uh, performance information, which is generated by computer code. The, uh, the, the language is at its base level Haskell which is built on by the Tidal Cycles project by Alex McLean and collaborators, which uses uh, a, you know, a, a complex procedure in itself, uh, which I won't go into at all here, to convert computer code into s cycles of sound. I've personally uh, extended and modified uh, the Tidal Cycles interface with my own, you know, bits and pieces and, uh, you know, added convenience uh, methodologies. And uh, I, uh, I have a library of my own called the Harmonic Algorithm, which is where my music background meets my exploration in data science. So, uh, so I, uh, I load that and I use a lot of the functionality from, from that when I'm working with tidal cycles. Uh, and uh, that all kind of comes together to create something that I call algorithmic orchestration, which is essentially scoring music for an orchestrator, so orchestrating music, scoring music for an orchestra using code rather than, for example, a sheet music notation program to sequence the music. Uh, it's very cool and there's a lot of reasons that uh, that I think that I'll talk about them more in other videos, you know, um, but the primary one being it would theoretically be possible to perform a orchestral piece uh, and generate that music in real time as you're typing the uh, the code, which, which I think is a, a fantastic concept and I'll have to do a lot of practice so that I can type fast enough to do that and uh, write some music worthy of doing that. Uh, the piece that it is going to be performed now is an orchestral piece by Igor Stravinsky called Suite Number no. 1 for Small Orchestra. Uh, it's a, a short piece he wrote for a chamber orchestra and it's just the first section, uh, part one, Andante. Um, I've used a Stravinsky piece because Stravinsky was a genius orchestrator and you, you'll hear that and feel that coming through you know, and so I'll scroll up and down here and you'll see this is this is all the music here. So the the individual sections of the music are here and the, the large scale structure is here. Um so this is essentially patterning patterns which are defined down here. Um there's a few functions in here. This is the uh the data, which is uh, programming the nanosynth module to sound like an orchestra. Um, so it's just sending MIDI information to create a mix which sets the panning and levels. You can see the, uh, the MIDI information being sent on the monitor over here. Um, so I think it's ready now. Um, I am not going to talk while this plays. I'm just going to run this. and. Sit back and uh, I hope you enjoy the music as much as I do.
And that's it. I'll talk more about the different elements in different videos. And uh, if anyone has any specific questions, then please ask them by any means necessary.